Well, she's the queen of crime writing, but despite her worldwide fame, Agatha Christie managed to keep her whereabouts under, under the radar. For more than 40 years, the author was living in the town of Wallingford in England, unknown to many residents. A life-size statue has been unveiled there in her honour, as Catherine da Costa reports. Like the intrigue from one of her novels, Agatha Christie's love affair with the market town of Wallingford was one of her best kept secrets. Agatha Christie made Wallingford her home. She lived here for more than 40 years, from 1934 until her death in 1976. But she was such a private person. Many here wouldn't have even known that the queen of crime writing was living in their midst. It was special because it was a place that she and her second husband, who was an archaeologist called Max Mallowan, actually were able to have privacy to themselves. They were able to live a more normal life. In the town, she only introduced herself to people as Mrs. Mallowan. Not everybody knew that she was Agatha Christie. I'm from the BBC. May I congratulate you on the record performance put up by the mousetrap? Do you think it's the best play you've written? I don't know. Other people seem to at any rate. While Agatha may have shied away from the limelight, her work continues to draw in audiences around the world. With Kenneth Branagh currently reprising his movie role as Christie's famous Belgian sleuth, Hercule Poirot. Come with me to a seance. Spot the car and I can't. Detective, you are here to discredit me. More than two billion copies of her books have been published and read around the world, and they are uh, translated into hundreds of different languages. She is incredibly well known, and people from all over the world come to visit her grave at Chelsea. They leave little gifts for her, little, um, little mementos, just to say how much they appreciated her writing. It's taken sculptor Ben Twiston Davies over a year to design and create this life-size statue called a monument to imagination. I imagine that she's sitting in the park and as we all might do, if you take 10 minutes to sit on a park bench and just relax from the kind of busyness of your day, your imagination wanders. She's having a moment of inspiration at that sort of moment of the sculpture, if you like. What do you think she would have made then of this bronze statue being uh, unveiled in her memory? <laughs> she would have hated it, I think, actually, to be perfectly honest. This is the secret that's now out, that actually she was a resident in Wallingford for 42 years. This is where she lived, where she was an ordinary housewife and enjoyed having a family life here. Catherine de Costa, BBC News.